Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Pokepans and welcome to episode 21 of our Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you have somehow stumbled onto this episode and haven't seen the previous 20, where have you been? Go back and catch up now. You can do that by clicking a link I have left down in the description and up in the top right hand corner. So go and do that right now. But for those of you who have been keeping up, let's do a quick team recap before we get into today's episode. Alright, first off we have Blubby the Walray in our starter with Mirror Shot, Parabolic Charge, Water Pulse, Ice Beam and the Protein ability which is nuts next on our team is spooky the mega Gengar with surf tail glow toxic spikes hex and the rockhead ability which changes into the oblivious ability on mega revolution next is diode the snorlax with toxic spikes chip away superpower crush grip and the poison heal ability and last episode we did finally manage to get him poisoned which is awesome Next on the team is Heat Vice, the Sceptile with Aqua Jet, Frost Breath, Mega Drain, Ancient Power, and the Multi Scale ability. Next is Dio, the Archaeops, the newest member on our team. Sorry, Dino, the Archaeops, the newest member on our team, with Crunch, Zen Headbutt, Defog, Rock Slide, and the Magic Bounce ability. And finally, we have Killer, the Gallade, with Force Palm, Avalanche, Perish Song, Zen Headbutt, and the Anticipation ability. So that's what our team is looking like right now. As you can see, let me just move out whatever it was I just knocked there. There we go. Lovely. As you can see, last episode, we managed to get to the Team Flare headquarters. Now, we have to choose one of these teleporters to go through, and I don't know where we're going. So I'm just going to randomly select the yellow one instead of the green one. And that was wrong. Okay. It's not the yellow one. We'll know that next time. It's the green one. So... Should have uh, should have guessed it was the green one, really, shouldn't I? The yellow one takes us to the start. Um, so, uh, while we're here, let me just change the order of the Pokemon and heal up um, Snorlax here. Because we don't want to use a... Uh, we don't want to put Snorlax into the into the Poker Center. We kind of want him to stay poisoned. Because Poison Heal is a great ability to have. And while now that he's poisoned, he's immune to any other status. He can't be put to sleep or anything like that, which is great. Uh, now we've got to work out where we need to go. I'm guessing we need to go up that way. In here. That's my guess. Yes. Okay, it looks, looks about right. Awesome. Okay, so... Hello, superheroes. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you guys have been, please be sure to leave a like and uh, comment down below with how you think our team is looking like right now. I think our team is looking pretty damn hot, to be honest with you guys. Uh, our type coverage is pretty pretty good uh, we haven't got a fire type which is a bit annoying but um it's all good all good okay uh okay so we've got to go and beat team flare that's kind of obvious i'm guessing okay don't have to go that way i'm trying to we should probably have battle some of these people um i feel like we might need to All right. Uh, I don't know where we're going, but um, oh, this this is a healy place. That's kind of good. Um, although it would like fully heal Snorlax and get rid of poison. There's not much leftovers. No. Okay. So yeah, I think you can sleep on a bed there to fully heal, which is uh, which is awesome. Oop, didn't want to go that way. All right. So we've obviously got to go this way. I think we've just got to, we've got to battle this guy by the looks of it to get past him, so let's just battle him. Let's just battle him. Uh, I think we got Blubby out front, which is probably the wrong person to have out front at the moment. Alright, so we're just going to go for a Water Pulse here. That should do chunks to this Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine is actually a beast. Um, and we do have a, uh, we do have a, uh, the first evolution, the Swine Ups. We do have a Swine Up in the PC. That should do heaps. Didn't quite take him out. Interesting. Oh, he just raised our special attack. That's not a good idea for you, buddy. Come on, break out of confusion. Go through. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, I don't know why flat is a move. Like I can, un I understand swagger, right? So swagger raises your attack but confuses you, or raises the opponent's attack but confuses them. Um. And with a higher attack stat, you hurt yourself more. I get that. Swagger is a good move. Flatter, I don't think, is a good move. It raises your special attack and confuses you. But, um... Okay, so electric type. 
But I haven't actually got anything for an electric type, so we're going to switch. Um, but yeah, flat out raises your special attack, and you don't deal more damage to yourself if your special attack is raised. It's weird. Uh, I'm going to go into Heat Vice here. He's trying to think. So if we're pure water type, he's probably just going to go for an electric type move, right? So let's go into Heat Vice. Actually, let's go into Diode. Diode could use a level, I think. 46. Heat Vice was, what, 47? Yeah. Ideally, I want to level up Killer and Dino um, to get them, like, on par, but... Uh, there's not much we can do. We can't really switch, swap either, either of those in to a uh, Thunder Punch or a Thunderbolt or a Nuzzle, in fact. Nice. That was actually a good switch because uh, we're already poisoned. Lovely. All right, so now we can go for like a chip away here. I don't think we need to go for a Crush Grip. That should do a lot, actually. Electro Ball, I think, is one of those moves that um, the faster they are, than us, the more damage it does, and Snorlax is a really slow Pokemon. I don't think Ampharos is that quick though, so... Unfortunately we don't get the toxic, uh, the poison heal here at the end of the, uh, end of the turn. But Blubby grew up a level, Diode nearly grew up a level. Uh, we are gonna switch the team around a little bit here. Um, I don't want to have Blubby up the front. He doesn't need any more levels. He's already a little bit over leveled as it is. Oh, he's gonna give us an item. A raspberry. Lovely. I'm, I'm spamming B and I just can't get away from him. Okay. So let's put... Who should we put up front? I guess Diode could use some more levels. Or we could put Dino up front and just switch into someone who can take a hit. That might be the better idea. We'll put... Actually, no, let's put Killer up front. Dino is level 44. Killer's the weakest Pokemon on our team. He can also take people out because his stats are actually pretty good. Alright, which way do we want to go here? I'm guessing we're going to have to battle that guy as well. So let's do that. Don't know where we need to go. This is the problem with these maze things. Alright, so they got a Makargo. That's a rock type, so it's actually weak against fighting, so uh, Killer should be able to take this guy out by himself. I'm hoping we don't lose any Pokemon going through this. He's only one level higher than us, so a Force Palm should take him out. Oh, maybe not. Alright, so the Fire Rock type is using Rain Dance. I don't understand that, but sure. Maybe it's got Swift Swim? No. Alright, so there we go. Two Force Palms, take out the Makago. That should level up. Gallade, realistically. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. He's not quite as uh, close to the next level as I thought. Alright, Luxray coming out. Electric type. It's got snow warning, so it's changing to hail. Um, do we go for an avalanche? Zen headbutt? Force palm? Um, I'm going to go for a Zen headbutt here. And of course, we missed. Okay, so he's going for Thunderfang. I am going to switch into uh, Snorlax here. Or we could switch into Heat Vice. I'm going to switch into Heat Vice. Because Heat Vice should be able to take a Thunder Fang uh, really, really well with his uh, multi scale. Snorlax might have been the better option, but. Alright, now we can uh, Giga Drain and get back to full HP. We should be faster, or Mega Drain even, we should be faster than Luxray. Will that take us back to full? Probably not actually. No, not quite. Okay, he's upping his special defense. I'm gonna go for another Mega Drain to go back to full here. Because um, this will take us back to full. Pretty sure. No, not quite. Damn. Okay, we're paralyzed. I'm going to switch this time into uh, into Snorlax. Because it looks like Thunderfang is his best move. And uh, that won't paralyze Snorlax. And also, Rocky Helmet will hurt him. So, uh, he'll get like double chip damage. Oh, he's going for charge. Okay. Get a free poison heal that turn, which is very nice. Alright, and now Chip Away should just take him out. 
It's going for double charge. Interesting. Just powering up his special D, even though Snorlax is a physical tapper. attacker. I'm fine with that, you know? There we go. Chip away. Takes him down. Diode. Heat Vice. Grew up to level 48. Very nice. Heat Vice wants to learn Pin Missile. Pin Missile is actually not a bad move. I don't think it's better than anything we have here, though, is the problem. Physical move? Yeah, physical move. I don't think it's better than Aqua Jet. Having priority on him is pretty good. Yeah, we're not going to learn Pin Missile. Keep old moves. Give up. Yes. Awesome. Kill Ogre to level 44. Awesome. Very nice. Awesome. Got some more money. Let's heal up our Pokemon now. We got Paralyzed Heals, I believe. Or full heals, at least. Right, we'll use a Super Potion. Take him almost to full. Two Super Potions on Snorlax. Um, sorry, on uh, Sceptile. And we should have Paralyzed Heals somewhere. Yeah, we've got two Paralyzed Heals. There we go. Do we have any normal potions? I don't think we do. So we're going to leave it like that for now. We're going to continue on. Do we want to go down or do we want to go right? I want to go right. Don't know if that was the right way. No, it looks like that was the wrong way. Oh, maybe that was the right way. All right, let's go this way. See what we see what we're dealing with here. All right, so that looks like a boss battle coming up. Um, so I'm not gonna have Killer up front for this boss battle. Let's put Snorlax up front because Snorlax can tank a hit from almost anyone. All right, here we go. All right, is this double battle or is it two single battles? Okay, it's two single battles. Team Flare Celosia sends out Deancey. Yo. Deancey's kind of scary. Um, we can superpower it. I don't think it would do much damage, though, is the problem. Because I think it's Fairy Rock. Um, let's go for a superpower anyway, just to see how much it does. He's going for Dynamic Punch. That will confuse us, unfortunately. And hopefully we break through the confusion. We do go for the superpower. It should be neutral on him. Nope. Maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch here. So assuming he goes for dynamic punch again, we're gonna switch into Gengar. This should be a safe switch. And now we can Mega Evolve Hex. Or Mega Evolve Surf is probably better. Yeah, Mega Evolve Surf is definitely better than the Hex here. It's not stab, but it is super effective. If he was stabbed, we could have used Hex and it probably would have been better, but um, the Surf should take this guy out. Wow, it really doesn't. Oh, because he's. He was actually. Uh, fighting type, wasn't he? He wasn't uh, rock type. Alright, now we'll go for the Hex then, I suppose. And that will take him out. Alright, there we go. Deancey is down. Spooky grew up a level. Very nice. Spooky is now level 48. That's pretty damn good. Special attack is 183. I'm still in Glaciate. Glaciate is a special ice move, 65 base power. I don't think it's better than Toxic Spikes or Tail Glow, to be honest with you. I don't think we need Tail Glow on Gengar, though. To be fair, his special attack is so high already. So, um, I don't know. Maybe we, um, we do get rid of Tail Glow. Tail Glow Gengar is absolutely insane, though. Alright, Celio. I guess we just go for a Hex. I think what he could have. Bubble Beam, yeah, nothing really. It'd be good to have some sort of um, recovery on Gengar. Awesome. I think he might be able to learn Synthesis by TM. I don't know. Cool. Dino grew to level 45. Nice. Dino is catching up. Wants to learn Drill Peck. Yes, please. That's a nice physical flying move. Uh, better than Zen Headbutt, probably. Yeah, I think better than Zen Headbutt. Or maybe we just get rid of Defog. 
Yeah, let's just get rid of Defog. We can always relearn Defog with uh, Heart Scales and stuff. I don't think we're going to need it. People aren't setting up that many uh, energy hazards, so we should be okay. Cool, we got a nice chunk of money for winning. Very nice. I don't. Do we have to battle another one straight away? Yeah, we do. Hmm. Brioni sent out Shellos. Okay, this is actually fine. We should be able to he heal everybody back up here. So Snorlax was kind of weak there. So let's heal Snorlax back up with a Hyper Potion. And then we can heal Gengar up with a Super Potion next turn. I don't think Shellos has enough stats to do anything to Snorlax. Yeah, so now we can Super Potion Gengar just to heal everybody back up in case we need to switch. Cool. And now I'm going to... A chip away should be enough to kill him. And he's just going for Spite. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's just go for a Force Palm then. There we go. Lovely. Easy fight so far. Easy fight. And Killer gets some nice XP as well. Uh, and you'll get some nice XP from this. Oh, Cleffa. Um... Clefa with Fairy Aura, so this is kind of annoying because we kind of have to swap out because Clefa is a Fairy type and it does have Fairy Aura. Oh no, okay. I thought it was going to Pursuit and I was like, ooh, that's bad. But it didn't. It's just Quick Claw activated. Alright, that's actually fine. Yeah, Play Rough would have really hurt, um, would have really hurt, uh, Gallade, so I'm, I'm glad we swapped out there. Alright, one more turn, and, um, then that's this, uh, I think that's the whole story section done, right? These have got to be the bosses of this section. I think we will heal Snorlax up in a Poké Center. I don't think we have enough PP restoring items to uh, make up for the fact that we won't be able to use Poké Centers. We could farm Leper Berries somehow, probably. I don't know where, though, is the problem. Uh, Utley and Sink, you're here for answers, aren't you? Um, are you following me? Blah, blah, blah. Route 10 will steal that energy for us. Power the... Uh, blah, blah, blah. When output weapon was used... Okay, story stuff, some exposition. Um, okay, I mean, is that it? Are we done in here now? I'm guessing maybe that is it, I don't know. Right, we've got an item there, which is nice. Oh, black glasses, that's actually really good. Powers up dark type moves. Um, should we go up that way? There's another door there. Let's battle this guy, see where that teleporter takes us. Oh, we should have healed up. Should have healed up, that's for sure. I have no idea where we need to go, though, is the problem. Okay, Chin Chow. How low HP was Snorlax? He wasn't that low, right? Yeah, no, we're good. Uh, okay, let's go for a chip away. Okay, he'll take a rock hair. Yep. Rocky helmet damage. Chip away should do good chunks. Yep. Nice as a crit. Took him out. Very nice. Easy. Easy fight, guys. Easy fight. Poison here heals us up a bit. Ah, oh, man, it heals up so much. It's great. And a Charizard. Okay. Charizard with Drizzle. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, let's go for... I'm going to just go for a Crush Grip here. Okay, so that's going to... The rain is going to power that down, which is very nice. Um, crush Grip should take out the Charizard. Oh, wow, it didn't. Okay, I thought that was going to take him out, but... 
Charizard hung on. Let's go for a chip away to finish him off then, I suppose. Okay, there we go. Now Charizard is down. Uh, we'll check where this teleporter takes us. I don't know where we need to go anymore. I thought that was going to be it, and there was going to be something explaining to us where we need to go. We don't want to learn Fling. Killer grew level 45. Killer wants to learn Rest. Uh, no, I don't want to learn Rest on my Gallade. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see where this teleport takes us. Is this guy going to give us an item? He is going to give us an item. A surprise mulch. I don't know what that is. Spamming B. There we go. Okay, so this teleport takes us to... Here. I'm going to heal up here. This looks like it could be a boss battle again. Uh, I guess a super potion should do it. Just about. Oh, not a boss battle. Just a rare candy room. Interesting. Unless there are things between these bookcases. Nope. Hmm. There's got to be something somewhere, right? Otherwise, why does this place exist? Can't just exist for a, a rare candy. Is that literally it? And some... Is it literally just... Hmm. Okay, so it's just some story room and a rare candy in it. Do we go that way? Yeah, let's go this way, see what is this way. We've been here already. Oh. Oh wait, have we been here already? Let's go into that room and find out. I guess we're battling this person first anyway. Sneasel. Uh, we'll probably die to a chip away. Or we could go for a superpower and it'll definitely die to a superpower. We've only got one chip away. Yeah, let's use a superpower then. Alright. What's the next Pokemon on? Mian Shao. We're definitely swapping here. It's probably going to go for a uh, fighting move, so let's bring in Spooky. Hopefully it doesn't have a dark move. Right, Mega Hex should do some good damage here. Nearly took it out. Luckily, Sky Attack is a two-turn move, so we will just take it out here. And what I'm going to do now is switch Snorlax from the front, because he's running low on PP. Spooky Gucci level 49. We're getting lots of levels um, going through this area, which is great. Okay, so let's move. Let's put Heat Vice up front instead of Diode. Alright, we have been here. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess we've got to go this way, right? And we've been this way as well. Yeah, that's the Healy place. Oh, we could just heal up there, I suppose. Yeah, let's just heal up in here. I'm guessing we can just talk to any of the beds. Yeah. Unfortunately, Snorlax is no longer poisoned, and we don't have a Toxic Orb or anything, which is very unfortunate, but not much we can do about it. Oh, did that last time as well, didn't I? Okay, we've got to go past this guy down here, maybe? Yes. Uh, 
Alright, I'm guessing we are done in here. I don't know, though. We gotta go to Route 10? They did say something about Route 10, but I genuinely have no idea where we need to go now. Um... Okay, let's fly to Route 10. Let's get our fly Pokemon out and go to Route 10. Or maybe I'm just being totally dumb and uh, we haven't actually finished in there yet. I th it looks like we did though, right? Alright, where's Route 10? There's Route 10. So let's go to here. Because we fought Lysander when we first got in there, right? And then we fought the two admins. That was it, right? And then they said, like, oh no, Route 10. The stone's on Route 10. So here I am on Route 10. Is there nothing here? Is that it? Oh yeah, no, there was a secret hideout over that way, wasn't there? I remember there was this little rock over here. Is this where we needed to go? No? I have no idea what we're doing right now. Do we go, have we got to go back into that hideout again? Did I just not finish in there and just left? Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> I'm guessing we missed something in there then. Usually these games tell you exactly where you need to go. And I thought Route 10 was going to be it, but apparently it wasn't. Um, so let's put our fly Pokemon back in. Organize boxes. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I think it's that cafe, right? Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, I guess we haven't finished in here. I don't, I genuinely have no idea. I thought we had, but apparently not. I'm trying to think, trying to look at places that we haven't been. I'm pretty sure we've been everywhere though. Alright, we've been up this way. We've been past this way. Let's go down. Nope, not down. Or is it down? No. Let's go right there. Okay, and there's nowhere else for us to go this way other than here. Um, again, I have no idea where we've been. I haven't been paying attention. This is totally my bad. Oh, we've got a bronze zone here. I feel like Heatvice should be able to take out a Bronzong. What has it got? It's not actually got anything that's very good against it. I don't think Mega Drain is uh, particularly good against Steel. No, he resists it. Uh, okay, so let's switch into... Who do we switch into here? We haven't got anyone with a fire move. 
Spooky who gets hit by uh, super effective by the psychic moves. Um, let's go into Blubby, I guess. Who can at least hit super effective um, water pulses. Uh, not super effective. Who can at least hit... Um, okay, so he's got focus, uh, focus Punch. Oh, and he's got Dry Skin. Of course he has Dry Skin. Now that Focus Punch is going to go through. And not do too much to us. But we can't really use um, Blobby. If we use the Steel move, Focus Punch is a super effective. Although we can just use... We can use either of these, I suppose. Because if he goes to Focus Punch, it'll break the Focus Punch. So he's got Psybeam, King Shield, Focus Punch. Uh, we don't know his last move. Yeah, so he's just going to keep going for Focus Punch, and I'm fine with him doing that, because we can just continually Ice Beam him. Yeah, okay, if he's just going to keep Focus Punching, we're just going to keep hitting him with Ice Beams. One more Ice Beam should do it. Didn't go for Focus Punch that time. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I guess what we're going to do is uh, we're going to call the episode after this battle. And I will try and work out what we need to do um, by next episode. Wants to learn Harden. No, thank you. That'll I'll be fine without learning Harden. Heat Vice grew up to level 49, though. Dino grew to level 46. They're, they're catching up. They're catching up, those weaker Pokemon. Stunky. Dark Poison type. With an air balloon. So this guy can't get hit by any super effective uh, damage right now. Um, so we'll just go for an Ice Beam. That should take it out, I think. Going for Judgment, which is a 100 base power normal move. Arceus' special uh, signature move. There we go. Lovely. All right, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to look up what we need to do uh, by next episode, um, where we need to go, etc. I don't know if we need to go this way. Oh, there's a room that we haven't been in. And there's a teleporter that we haven't been in. Okay, so clearly we're at the right place now. We need to keep going the way we're going. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, these episodes go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're streaming tomorrow, which is a Saturday, um, 3 p.m. UK time until 5 p.m. UK time. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Until next time, guys, goodbye.